In 30 minutes, you could do your laundry, read a book, have coffee with a friend, cook dinner, or watch a TV programme. All very useful things when it comes to life admin and general well-being. In 30 minutes, you could also go for a run, follow a yoga class, do some laps of your local pool, or join us on Zwift for a great cycle workout. In fact, you can do just that for 30 days this January. We are all in it together. Let's get the new year off to a great start. doesn't sound like very much but by the end of the week you will have accumulated three and a half hours add all that up at the end of the month and you will have actually done 15 hours of quality time spent riding your bike now i don't know where you guys are at but that's certainly going to be a big step up for me and it's one that i'm ready to commit to that is if you'll join me. And me. And me. Yes, we are all coming along for the ride, so to speak. But more details on that coming up. But first, for those of you who think 30 minutes just isn't worth getting out of bed for, we're going to share a glimpse into what we do each week. And you'll be surprised how little training we actually do. And yet, it manages to be enough to get us ready for whatever the next GTN challenge we can come up with is. Well, for me, I tend to start my day heading out with a dog for 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, jog or walk, kind of dependent on the dog, really. And then uh, I mount a bike commute into work. That's about 30 minutes either way. Not every day, every so often. And then Tuesday, we have our Tuesday run club at work. So I head out for about six or seven kilometers with a nice group, nice and sociable. And that is more or less it most weeks. And then anything extra, it's a bit of a bonus. Well, recently, my training has actually all been about the 30 minute workout. I've only just got myself back onto Zwift after the summer. And the only way I can convince myself to do that is if I promise that it's just gonna be over pretty quickly. And quite often I'll get to 30 minutes and then I might even carry on a little bit, but it's just that mindset. The same with going to the gym. I can pretty much get my basic workout done in that 30 minute window. And if I'm having a day where it's just been really busy or I've been a little bit lazy and haven't done anything, I will drag myself out of the door for a 30 minute jog shuffle and I come back always feeling that much better. I ride my bike into work whenever I can and it's about 30 minutes, okay, 40 minutes most days. And well, whenever I can, I mean, when I don't have kids to fetch or equipment to carry, not when the weather's good. I'm not a fair weather rider. And then I take Cody out for a, for a run whenever I can, which is not that often. And he's good for about 60 minutes, although generally I'm only good for about 30 or 40. So you get the idea. It's about creating habits, or at least working around those barriers and creating some opportunities. <laughs> But what if you're feeling a little like Heather? Surely 30 minutes isn't even worth bothering getting changed for. Every little bit counts. You probably heard enough of that in the pre-Christmas adverts, but it's true. If you have your turbo set up inside, ready to go, you really can make the most of the time available. And indoor training requires a little bit less warm up, so you get straight into that high intensity session and really make the most of a 30 minute high intensity workout. But I won't know what to do. This is where we come in. There are 30 minute sessions scheduled every day on the GTN Club on Zwift. All you need to do is sign up and turn up. Make sure your FTP is up to date, put it in erg mode and just pedal away. We'll do all the thinking for you. And what if I need to do more than 30 minutes a day for my training? We understand that many of you might already have training programs and be committed to spending longer on your bike than just 30 minutes. But that's okay, you can still join our sessions, either put them at the beginning of your session and add some time afterwards, or tag them on at the end of your session. What you'll get is the whole social aspect of joining the GTN Club, and of course, the commitment to meeting some people so you actually do get on your back. How am I supposed to fit the rest of my training in when I'm cycling every day? We're aware that most of you are triathletes and you have other sessions to do too, and we love variation too. We're not saying you have to do all of the sessions, but the sessions will be there for you to join if you want to. But maybe you do want to take on the challenge of doing one every day. You can always do it as a warm up for your run session or even a cool down for your run session. And you can try those double training days on the days when you also have a swim. Get on your bike too. So what have we got in store for you? Well, 
it's your chance to reinvent yourself. You can give your avatar a makeover. You can even dress it in GTN kit. You'll unlock the GTN kit after just one of our group rides. But more to the point, there is a 30 minute workout planned for every day in January. That is 30 workouts. I know before you say it, there are 31 days in January. The 31st of January is your rest day. So we've teamed up with Zwift to offer you these 30 minute workouts. And there's gonna be two different time slots per day in the hope that you can find one that works around your schedule. And if you are someone who likes to forward plan or know what's coming up in the diary, well, you can look ahead and find out what those sessions are. On top of that, two sessions every week will be led by either myself or Heather or Mark, and we'll do plenty of chatting along the way. Well, if you really wanna chat, probably join Heather's ride. Just saying. And for those of you who do have access to a treadmill, well, we'll be offering one run session per week as well. All you need to do is join the GTN Club on Zwift and sign up for each day's workout and come prepared to do a little bit of work. And if, like me, you're slightly concerned that you might not be able to keep up with James or Mark, well, you needn't worry, as all of these sessions and workouts are going to be what is known as rubber banded, which basically means that whatever pace that you're personally riding at, or whatever power you're putting up, we will all stay together. I mean, after all, these are community rides. So whether you're looking to kickstart your year, add some variety to your training, or just join a fun triathlon community, the next 30 days on Zwift with GTN are for you. Yeah, I mean, Mark, James and myself all have our own goals, as I'm sure you guys do too. And they might not initially seem directly related to riding 30 minutes every day, but we've all got to start somewhere. So why not start together? See you in Watopia. Ride on.